a little here. Take two. I'm sorry, all earth, earth, and vessel. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a minute. What's up guys? So today we're going to do some deck testing. Um, just kind of focus on obviously Paradox Rift sets coming out and all that jazzy fizzle, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm just going to give me one second actually. Yeah, so we're going to try to, we did some deck testing, obviously I built Armor Rogue. I just tested again the new uh, Rapid Strike, so I have a way, I'm going to do Iron Valiant Rapid Strike as well for damage counters, try to get extra turns, but... I have to get the get the points, but anyways, um, yeah. So what we did in Rapid Strike here is uh, shoot as the deck quick. So Rapid Strike one of my favorite decks, like ever. Um, so what I did here is I actually so I took out Drapey on V. I'm not seeing a lot of Muse online right now. Uh, I took out Drapey on V, um, and then for my last deck checks, um, and I added in three Earthen Vessels. And I took out um, one professor's research from my previous deck list, and I also took out my heavy ball. Um, so that's the changes that I've done. So I removed three to add three earthen vessels. I try to get more snipe shots, um, some more double gunners off with um, with Intellion Vmax. Um, so that's kind of our goal right now, is to continue down this road with uh, with Intellion Vmax doing the double gunner. Try to take those extra turns. And yeah, so working out pretty well right now. My two matchups I've played so far with this deck in the new way has been Chen Pao. To be fair with the Chen Pao deck, they really didn't get a good start. Um, so I didn't get a good good gauge of that. And then I also played against a um, Charizard deck. Uh, the Charizard deck, uh, same thing. They just, I have a very good test. I won both those games, but it doesn't mean that this deck is better uh, or than those two currently. But it's just the fact of the, their hands. And you know how it is online too. It's... It's tough. So we're going to hop in on this account and uh, get some playing. So, let's see. Maybe we're playing against a Mew. <laughs> uh, of course, I take out Drapion. We're going to play a Fusion Strike deck right away. How fitting. We'll see, though. All right. Do not want to ever go first in this deck. In my opinion, I just want to try to attack. I like to attack on the first. I like to try to get... You never know, you can sometimes get an Urshu off if you have a Melanie. There's a chance. So, get 150 damage done in. Alright, Mulligan. How fitting. Alright, we have two Italian Vs to start. We're just gonna throw them both out. All right, so we have boss's orders. We have Clara. So not crazy. We have an Ultra Ball. It's gonna be a little tough to start. Hopefully, we can draw into something. We're playing against Roaring Moon Iris. Right, so we'll see how this goes. Roaring Moon is gonna be an interesting matchup for us. Roaring Moon is going to be a very, very, very interesting matchup for us today. <clears throat> Alright, switch card into Mew. This is doing so they don't take damage. Oh, no. Concealed cards. They're off to a decent start, so. Right, obviously, boss is. Unless. Uh, boss is useless. Clara is very useless to us at this point in the game. Um, we'll see. I might attach, honestly, just for speed sake, because this other deck is, Roaring Moon is so fast, and they're going to be taking three prizes from us. I might have to go the route of Ultra Brawling into Luminion early, uh, and then Professor Researching, to be honest. This is not looking like a good start 
for us. I mean, it's got a squawk and seize off. Yeah. I'm looking like a good start for the hometown heroes, you know? Especially comparing hands, you know, comparing where my hand is at compared to what they've just done. They're popping. All right, so he's one energy away on that burn moon. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, another Inteleon V. All right. Um, so we're gonna, one's going to get knocked out here in a second. At least we'll get a Surf off, possibly. Let's say boss. Let's see. Possibly boss. We're actually going to attach down here. I could boss. I want to. I don't want to just play to. I got to play to keep pace with him. So I'm just honestly going to have to just. Just do it. I'm going to have to Luminion into. Um, so I'm going to have Luminion. And I do not. Okay. So. That sucks. Prize Luminion. So, with a prize Lumi, then that would have changed a lot of what I did there. We're going to go Urshi. Um, Urshi, then we can call our next turn. That's tough. We're, gonna, we're basically going to lose this until I'm right off the rip, which really hurts us. That Inteleon is absolutely caked. Oh, cross switcher. Okay. Uh, they just had a way better start. Oh, they had nothing else. Okay. Interesting. All right. Um. I'm gonna take Remy out now. I don't want to give him the free Urshi. I don't get enough off of Clarine now either. So we're just gonna hit him for 40. That way that one can't instant KO us without dying. Yeah, this is just a really bad hand to start. But if he's gonna get two, but even if he does. That dies as well now. And if he pulls it back, we'll see. Because it'll be a 40. He should have left the other one out, to be honest. But I do lose a rep trick energy here. He can only do 100 with this one. Oh, there, mind. There we go. So that's going to be, if he does his main attack, though, I'm dead. So is he, though. If he does the, uh, what's it called, the uh, Frenzy Gouging. Because I don't have a three prize out. All right, so Escape Rope. So he's going to choose one without energy, at least. Oh, he's, never mind, he's discarding that. Okay. He has a lot of energy in his hand. If I can get some hand disruption here. All right, so he's going to Calamity Storm for 100. It makes sense. Because he can do it again to kill. If I have uh, no energy in discard here. That's tough. We're just have to surf him again. We're going to lose this Inteleon, but kind of all we have. Which sucks. Really bad start. I don't want to give him three, though. Because he would take the two to three trade. If I evolve this entire or evolve any of these, if you get a cross switch again, he'll take that two, three trade. Two, three trade all day. So. But he's really set up now, which is the downside. I think I lose this run. I don't know if I don't think there's a winning scenario right now for me in this. To be honest. I don't think there's a way for us to pull this out. Yep. Well there is that Inteleon. So he's he's cheeked up. 
and throw the next one in. All right, so. Oh, man. I'm just going to pray to the gods. Let's see. Here we go. I'm a gambling man. All right, so we got Repstrict Tower. Tower of Waters. All right. So we can go double gunner twice now. So, double gunner twice. That one's going to take KO, though. It's going to be tough. So, we got to get damage counters on the ones that don't, that will die. Right? So, he has a good lead already. So, we're going to do this. We're going to double gunner both of these. Then... He's going to discard a Sadium in play on his turn if he wants. Then I think we Earthen Vessel here. We'll discard this Tower of Waters. We will get the two energy. Did he double gunner? He hasn't. Okay, so I have one more double gunner in my bag. Now I could... Hmm. I could get Remoroid. Remoroid, Rapture Energy, Attach. To do 140 before I die. I think that's the play here. So I think we have to Ultra Ball the Irida in one of these. Get Remy. I mean, Octillery, sorry. Get Ock. Play Ock. Rapid Strike, search it for a Rapid Strike Energy. Now we're going to attach that. Right? Then we're going to Double Gunner again, so both of those Roaring Moons would be knocked out. If either of them uses the Instant KO. And then I hit the main one for 140. Now there's a play here for Metacham second turn, as well as Radiant Alakazam. We'll see. He has a lot of cards in hand. He has most of his deck in hand, which is an issue. <laughs> And he only has four prize cards left, so I really have to get I have to get a meta champ off that I think to win. Cause he it makes sense for him to self sacrifice this one. He could sack this for three, have one left, and then I'm pretty much up to the up to the gods at that point. I'm only going to get two off the death. I can't... If he if he attacks... If he doesn't attack with this main one here, then I have a shot. But because he's going to attack with this one, do 200, and we're gonna he's going to take three, and I'll take two, I'll have four left. I won't be able to take two turns. If he doesn't do that, I can take two turns. If he's trying to save... Oh, shit. Oh shit, he blundered. I have a chance now. I really have a chance now because he left that Pokemon alive. I take two, oh man. I take two turns here. I have Luminion. I can boss in the one without energy. Oh, I don't want to do that. He has 40. I can do... Four. I need to do 190 to that Pokemon. I can do 20 off of Inteleon VMAX. 
That's 170 to do. We'll see. I'm gonna go pull this out of my butt. How many energy are in here? I don't want to do that yet, because if I get Melanie... Oh, man. This is tough. Okay. So... Luminion I got off prizes, which helps me a lot. I wanted this earlier. So for Luminion, I could grab item card, search a deck. I could get water Pokemon, uh, Ultra Ball. I need an Ultra Ball. That's what I need. Honestly, I should just get professors. I should get professors here and get the most amount of cards possible. Prof, prof is the best way, I think. So then we Rapid Strike Search. Wait, my retreat cost though. Shit. And then we have how many towers in there? I need to get one of my other towers. All right. So Rapture search for Metacham. See if we can pull this off. So Metacham attached to Medi. I could Pokey stop, but it's a stadium. I'm a professor research first and then Pokestop. Oh, there's a tower. Oh my god. Nest Ball. Alley. Retreat. Into Medi. I can move two. I can do two. We have the yoga loop here. Take two. Grab a shot. Oh, Earth, Earth, and Vessel. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a minute. So, Earth and Vessel. Discard show because she's not going to matter. Two energy in hand. Right? Double gunner, two of them. This Roar Moon being one of them. This one being the other. She's resistance to Urshi. I could do 140. And if I do 40 more to this one. This is tough. Or I could do... Wait, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. If I Melanie, hold on a second. I think this is the play, right? Let's see if I just, I'll just do this. Nope, I'll just do, fuck. Melanie, fuck it. I kinda, I'm, my brain's not processing. I can kill the squawk. I can kill squawk. I can kill squawk with Urshi. Star Alchemy for the VMAX. Right, 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 right. Attach. Rapid Strike Energy. Retreat. Boom. Then I don't want to miss this play. So Painful Spoons off of him. He only has 120 health left. And I don't apply resistance to benches, right? Don't apply resistance to weakness. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then I s just G-Max Rapid Flow. Squawk. Roaring Moon, I win. Woo! Pulled that one out of my cheeks, guys. Out of the cheeks, guys. Wow. So Urshifu, I mean... So to be fair, right, I did use the, um, to be fair on this deck list, 
it reminds me of Capacious Bucket, right? I did use this twice, and then once involving in the winning of the game. Um, so Earthen Vessel, in my opinion, is uh, is really strong. Uh, really, really strong, really good helper right now, uh, especially in a deck like this. So, yeah, I mean, it's got me two energy cards in my hand, allowed me to use the double gunner there. Um, in that one part of the game and it really really helped us so we were able to pull off a win against a Rory Moonduck that had a really good lead um, and we got it um, so we were able to pull that one off it's pretty sweet earth and vessel in this deck is going to be a huge help um, continue to get us get off more of those double gunners and we uh, were able to pull that off and beat a Rory Moonduck that had a substantial substantial lead um, on this one so yeah that's it for this one's 